it's politics as usual in Delaware County. What do I mean by that? One candidate is attempting to use the power of the entire government apparatus to support his cause. Who am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about James King, of course. And why am I saying that? Well, because James is scared. For the first time, James is scared. See, in the election in 2022, where he ran for sheriff against Skinner, something in his brain, for some unknown reason, told him that he could actually beat Skinner, which is insane, okay? Told him he could beat Skinner. That's nuts. That is absolutely crazy that he thought that he could beat the sheriff. I don't understand why he thought that, all right? But that's crazy. Well, that election, he got his ass handed to him. He was beat badly in that election. And now he's running for re-election against a guy who has every bit as big of a team and campaign support system as Skinner had. Plus, he has Skinner and all of Skinner's campaign team and support apparatus. So that whole system has met up to work to take King out of this election. And for the first time, James King and his cohorts are afraid. And when you back someone like that into a corner, they don't just say, well, okay. They start to play dirty. They start to do things that maybe otherwise they don't think they should have done because they know that if they lose this, it's over. So a lot of people in the county in the last couple of weeks got a mailer. This, of course, is the mailer that went out last week or the week before. It was this mailer that was put out, and it's talking about everything great that the commissioners have done, focusing on James King here. This is a quasi-campaign mailer sent out and paid for. It says Delaware County Redevelopment Commission. Now, the, the Delaware County Redevelopment Commission that is a government entity. They focus on economic development. So you'll remember uh, here a while back that we all watched this video. This is a video of the Delaware County Redevelopment Commission. Its members are Amber Green right here in pink. We've got Rob Keesling right here doing the Lex Luthor. Bryce Conyers, uh, Angie Moyer, and Michelle Batters here, okay, from this end down. Uh, they're appointed by the council and the commissioners. Now, James King used to be on this board, and he stepped down at the end of last year, yet he always attends these meetings, and as you're aware, he speaks here from the uh, audience and he you know he has his thoughts being heard we see back here that one of his campaign gurus uh, this is bill walters he and king are connected he's his like campaign manager we also see that over here let me try to see right here right here right here is uh bradley bookout so of course he's there and he's connected to King and connected to Bill Walters, Bradley Bookout. That's kind of the setup there. Well, everybody was pissed off about this because at this meeting that we're watching on the screen, they did not allow for public comment, even though King was able to speak from the audience and, and several times. So that was issue number one. Then, boom, this mailer comes out. All right. The mailer comes out. Everybody's pissed off about this mailer coming out. Who's paying for this? We don't like this. And I really appreciate the comments that Matt Kantz 
made about this. His words are, I've stayed out of the fray of this election season as much as possible, despite my explicit support of Stephen Brand for county commissioner. I also support my fellow council folk running for re-election and anyone else willing to put their name in the hat because it's hard. But this is self-promoting perversion of our tax dollars used to deliver a pseudo-campaign mailer to our entire county, which may cost upwards of $10,000. Of course, we know it's costing $12,000 some dollars or, or more. And it deserves an opinion. This is a complete misuse of, toler, do, of dollars of the Delaware County Redevelopment Commission, of which I cannot find proof of uh, or approval to spend the money in this manner, nor is there any history of them using TIF dollars to do so previously. I have messaged with at least one member of the East Central Indiana Regional Planning District Board, which is a nonprofit run by Bill Walters. The board of the ECRIPD has not endorsed any candidate. However, this nonprofit that receives financial support from the county commissioners is effectively running the current county commissioner, James King's campaign for re-election. With the ECIRPD phone number being utilized on the campaign committee paperwork and prompted as the phone number of record for citizens to contact. Remember, we've talked about this. It was disgusting. If this is not blatant, an ethical conflict of interest, I'm not sure what is. Old school Democrats in this county would use taxpayer dollars in this self-serving way, but I thought Republicans were above that fray. Apparently not. I will be making it my mission to be sure it is publicly known as such. Why would the DCRC suddenly send out a mailer touting past successes, not current successes, I believe Commissioner King is being given terrible campaign advice. No, that's where he's wrong. This is what King is wanting to do. This is his, his political answer on this. I get it. I sure hope he helps correct these continued conflicts of interest during this election. Sadly, it takes away from the successes that we have seen the economic development here in Delaware County and successes that he and other commissioners have had over the years. Okay, so most of that I like. Most of that I, I agree with wholeheartedly. The other comment that was made about this was made by none other than Councillor Ryan Webb when he referred to this mailer specifically as what it is. It's an example of soft corruption. If you, if you out there want an example of what corruption is, that, ladies and gentlemen, is an example of corruption. It's soft corruption. I talked last night about the fact that there are uh, a couple different types of corruption. You can have corruption that is illegal actions, and you can have corruption that is technically not illegal, but it is immoral, or it just, it's not, it, it doesn't sit right, but it's not illegal. It might be okay, but is it okay with all of us? That type of thing, all right? And that is very <clears throat> indicative of what's going on here. While they may have skirted around certain laws, some are questionable, all right? And, and I think it will be ferreted out eventually. But even if it comes down that, yep, this was A-OK, -okay, nothing's wrong here, everything's good. No, no, no. This is soft corruption, and it's misuse of tax dollars, and this is what it looks like involving local elected officials. All right? He is 100% correct when he says that. This, ladies and gentlemen, pissed a bunch of people off. So they said, we're going to show up, and we're going to speak at the next meeting. You should do that. Oh, wait. They've taken public comment off the agenda. Well, the public was going to show up to show their displeasure of that and of this mailer. When is this meeting set for? 9 a.m. on Thursday, April 11th. The DCRC meetings occur on the second Thursday of each month every month 
these meetings are locked in to a place where everyone knows when they are. Now, let's be very clear. Bryce Conyers is on here solely to do the bidding of James King. He is a King supporter through and through, 100%. That's all he cares about. He does not care about anything else, period. Boom, bang, pow, James King. That's all he cares about. He's carrying the water for King. He's he's holding King's pocket. He's riding King's back, doing what whatever you want to call it. All right, that's what he's doing. Mr. Conyers made it aware that he would not be able to be in attendance at the April meeting. Okay, so what happens then? Well, just like the council meetings or the commissioner's meetings or the, or any other meetings like like we've watched the we've watched the board of works meetings when Ted Baker's absent or Lola Mauer's absent they just have the meeting with two people there two people's a quorum when you have five members on the board three members are a quorum so if he can't be there no problem we've got Michelle Banners we've got Angie we've got Rob we've got Amber no issue the vice president kicks into the role and runs the meeting. Who's the vice president? Well, it's Rob Keesling. That means Rob Keesling could very easily allow public comment to be heard at this Thursday's coming meeting. Isn't that cool? That's great. Now the citizens will get to be heard. That's wonderful. We love that. That's fantastic. Well, <laughs> Don't uh, don't don't get too excited. We have this meeting that's scheduled for tomorrow at 9 a.m. where we know that one king lover is not going to be there. And so cool. We're going to have a chance to have the citizens speak before the election coming out and questioning what's going on. They're going to be questioning the commissioners. They're going to be questioning King's integrity. They're going to be questioning Bradley Bookout's integrity. They're going to be questioning Bill Walter's integrity. They're going to be questioning the RDC's integrity. Remember, I have issued a records request for this material, and I've got back part of it, but they still need to be giving me the remainder of it. And I think they're going to have a hard time doing that because I think there are no other records. They have no other records. So I think that's an issue for them. Well. This popped up last night. This, ladies and gentlemen, is in the top section, the white part. This is an email <clears throat> from Brad Bookout to all five of the DCRC members. And it says, DCRC members, I am emailing you to inform you that we do not have a quorum for Thursday, April 11th, 2024, DCRC meeting. The next regularly scheduled meeting will be held Thursday, May 9th, 2024 at 9 a.m. Did you catch that? We do not have a quorum for this coming Thursday's meeting. The next meeting will be held on Thursday. Thursday, May 9th, 2024. The primary election day is Tuesday, May 7th, 2024, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. They have essentially canceled this meeting and they've made it to where it doesn't matter. Now, my hope is that it doesn't matter what happens at the election, win, lose, or draw. I hope that every citizen that was mad and planning to come there tomorrow will still show up and ream the hell out of these people for their actions. Now we've got a third action to ream them for, and that's the fact that they've canceled this meeting specifically to cancel being held accountable. Bryce Conyers can't make it, so it essentially means that two other people cannot make it. I've contacted Amber. Amber said she could be there. 
I spoke with Amber. Amber said that Rob Keesling could be there. So neither one of these people are planning to not be there. So that means he's not going to be there as we knew. And now, for some unknown reason, he's not going to be here, which she attends all other meetings, and she's not going to be here. Why is that? I, let this break your mind for a moment. So Michelle Batters has her job because Bookout has his job because of James King. This woman works for James King. This man is supportive wholeheartedly for James King. So these three people owe their positions, owe their owe their support and everything, their allegiance to King to book out. And now amazingly for for the first time in I don't know how long, they all three can't show up to a meeting. All right. If they can't show up Thursday, let's have it Friday. If they can't show up Friday, let's have it next Monday. If they can't show up Monday, let's have... There's there's three other weeks. Let's have it Monday the 6th of May. Why push this off until after the election? Are you guys seeing it? Now... Going back to what Ryan said and, and what, what Kate was trying to say there, I, I do want to show, if we go back to this email, and I know it's difficult for you guys to see this, this email, the email in white, was sent by Bradley Bookout. Bradley Bookout is the person who sent the email canceling it. The dark part of this picture I've shown right here, this is Amber Green. She is on the board in question, and she made a post about this, and she says, integrity gives you real freedom because you have nothing to fear since you have nothing to hide. We could have used that quote tonight. She goes on to say, unfortunately... If you have questions about your tax dollars being spent on a campaign mailer sent by the Delaware County Redevelopment Commission, you will not be able to ask those publicly at the meeting as the meeting scheduled for this week has now been canceled. As a member of this commission, this is disappointing. As a taxpayer, this is unacceptable. Couldn't have said it better myself, Amber. Ladies and gentlemen, for the love of God, look here in Bradley Bookout's signature. Bradley Bookout, Director of Economic Affairs, Delaware County, Indiana, ECI Regional Planning District, 1208 White River Boulevard, which is the same address that James King's campaign lists. It's the same address where uh, the other gentleman... Uh, Bill Walters works. All right. Bradley Bookout's also a candidate for county council. He will benefit from citizens not griping before the election about this mailer. This went from Bryce Conyers simply not being able to be there to Bryce Conyers, Michelle Batters, and Angie Moyer not being able to be there. Now, yes, you are right, Jackie. Um, Bryce Conyers uh, cannot attend. Angie Moyer does work for Delaware County Commissioners, and she cannot attend. And Michelle Batters, who works for Bradley Bookout, cannot attend. Now, Bradley Bookout is not a board member of this commission, no. No, he's not a he's not a board member of this commission. What authority does he have to announce that the meeting is canceled? As the economic development director, does he have authority to cancel this meeting? I personally don't know. Well, he's the economic development director, but if the board votes on something, he's the one that has to make it happen. Mm -hmm. 
correct? So yeah, the yeah. board is technically like his boss. Yep. But he, and so they make the big decisions and then he's the boots on the ground that makes it happen during the week, right? Yep, yep. So yep. he's telling his bosses to not come to yep. a meeting? They're not meeting, uh-huh. Yep, it's canceled this week. Well, and it's it's because, okay, it's because his bosses, who you say, basically report to him. Michelle Batters works for him. Angie Moyers works for King. Bookout works for King. So if King tells Bookout to tell Angie not to be there, Angie's not going to be there. If Michelle Batters is told not to be there by Bookout, she won't be there. I mean, and everybody, everybody who's anybody knows that Michelle Batters is a puppet on a string for Bradley Bookout. Rob Keesling should be able to convene the meeting. Let me take you a step further. There's nothing wrong with the other two members of the meeting going ahead and meeting. They just can't vote on anything. They can't take official action. And it's not technically a, a, a public meeting. But there's no reason why they couldn't hold court and allow citizens to speak. Now, they're not going to do that. And, and I, I understand. I mean, I would pull some kind of crap like that. that that's something Ryan would do. All right, come on down, you know. If Ryan was on this board, if I was on this board, I, I would be like, you know, all right, let's 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 meet in the parking lot and everybody wants to bitch, bitch about it. If you don't understand by now what's going on, you're not paying attention. Can Stephen Brand win this election? Can people that need to win the council races win to make Delaware County better? Yes. Can these people steal it and take it away and lie and, and swindle and cheat? Listen, I heard way back before the controversy that Bryce Conyers was not going to be there. So even though I would love to throw him into the mix, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, crunch his head for this. He's out of it. But I want to know why batters and why Moyer cannot be there. I want to know what happened all of a sudden that this is happening. And as as Kate put up, just a reminder, this is also a 501c3 campaigning on behalf of a candidate, which is illegal. Here's a link to the complaint process with the IRS. Uh, and that is fantastic. Sounds like Bookout just grabbed the opportunity to assume the responsibility to cancel the meeting. Who is going to challenge him? This is pathetic. Absolutely. I will tell you what happens here is no, no one was going to challenge Book Out. Now, I, I feel like Amber or, or Rob Keesling, either one would have no problem questioning him or challenging him on this. But if he's told the other three to not, not participate, they're just simply not going to do it. So they're out of luck on that. So it's up to us to challenge him. It's up to us to send the message.